the crowd is ready to go. So are the Red Raiders. John Lewis is standing back along with LeRon Moore. And here is Ben Park's kick. And it's going to be a short kick at the 24-yard line. Up to the 25, to the 30, to the 40-yard line is Ryan Hale, a running back, a reserve running back, outstanding field position. Proved up front, I think the biggest difference offensively is the offensive line for Texas Tech. Shannon Woods getting the start in the backfield, the senior out of McKinney, Texas. And Harold, a quick flare out pass to the right side, able to pick up seven up to Michael Crabtree, his first catch of the game. A tree in the slot, three wide receivers, left side. Harold looking left, still looking, has a man. First down, Texas Tech. Inside the 50 down to the 48 yard line to Eric Morris, the man they call L. Play a zone behind it. Now Antonio Johnson moves from his linebacker spot to the defensive line for Baylor, but Harold still with time, short of the first down as the pass is complete. Down to the 38 yard. Just try to get the first down. They had to get inside the 35. On the defense, you get no time to breathe, and then they hurry up on top of that and very seldom huddle. Second down and six, opening drive for the Red Raiders. Harrell has passed every play on this possession. This is another first down. Inside the 20 to Tremaine Swinbetry. Got second down, Arrow looking, looking, throws to his safety valve, passes complete, Lewis takes a hit, but he gets inside the 10-yard. Looking left, still has plenty of time, Harold all day, throws deep into the end zone, Morris catches it, touchdown, Texas Tech. Leeway at the line of scrimmage. Here's where he's dangerous, rolling out to his right. Pass is complete to right, his first catch. 48. So he is in street clothes. The running game of Baylor, which has been so impressive this year from years past. Duncan stopping Jones. And Ron, that's an under center. Jacoby Jones behind him. Well, they're going to have to shove him a little bit harder. I think the spot's going to be a first down. Didn't get a whole lot, but he got enough. Ball's on the 41. First and 10 for the Baylor Bears. Jay Finley in the backfield. And he's got the football to the right side. Texas Tech closing, but not before he gets inside the 35. Let's check. He had room to run with it. Only rush so far was the quarterback sneak. Five wide receivers set. Here comes Griffin. Right up the middle, takes a slide as he gets close to the 20-yard line. He'll be short of the first down. They want designed run fourth down of this drive. Griffin just tucks it and runs it. And he will get down to about the 16-yard line. That'll be another first down. Sandy inside of five and a half here in the first. First and 10 from the 16. Griffin looks. Throws, passes complete to Thomas White, and he gets down to about the nine-yard line. White, the senior out of Plano, Texas. Defense and, and get a game plan and scheme against. Akers and Weed, two tight end formation. Straight ahead running inside the five-yard line is Finley. And Baylor on the run. You know, he's... Griffin, does he get in? Waiting for the signal. There it is, touchdown, Baylor. About a 14 play drive for Texas Tech. You come back and say, hey, we can do that too. We'll match a 14 and 14. That is you can see by the 14 touchdown passes, only two INTs on the year. Ben Parks with the extra point, and we are tied up. Run a little swing pass with him on this. Max joins him. He likes to slip out this time, though. He looks over the middle, and Harrell is intercepted at the 35 yard line. Antonio Johnson, the sophomore out of Waco, Texas, his first interception of the year. Finley breaks a couple of tackles as he gets down to the 20-yard line. That'll be good for another Baylor for two. This is the Baylor first half we saw against Nebraska. Griffin on the handoff, another straight-ahead running play. 
And they are really just going right. Well, they rushed for 269 yards versus A&M. That's a record for Baylor in a Big 12 game. And they're racking up the yards here this, this afternoon. Second down and two from the 13. Griffin keeps it on. He's got daylight and six. Robert Griffin covers the final 13 yards. Good snap. And it's no good. He had not a good first down play, but this offense is explosive. And here goes Harrell again. Looking to throw the deep out into double coverage. Pass is caught. Michael Crabtree. How did he come up with that? He's the all-time leader as far as yards. Took over from Wes Welker for the first two years. Over 3,000. Third down and three. Stood up as he gets down to the 43-yard line. It is going to be very close. Stephen Hamby, the center, yelling instructions on second and seven. Harrell's got some time, and he is going to be dropped back at the 50-yard line. He tried to double. Baylor showing three on the line of scrimmage. They bring four. Harrell looking. Looks for his safety valve. Got it. At the 45-yard line, open space, needs a block, batch, gets down to the 30, down to the 29-yard line. First down, Texas Tech. Barron, the right play, regardless of what the coverage is. Pick up a five on the play, out to Morris, tries to get the first down, backpedals a little bit. They'll be short of the first down. Here. Fourth down and two, they've tried one already this afternoon, they've been successful. Baylor comes with four. Harrell completes the pass. Crabtree inside the 15 down the 11 yard line. Once it's to him and playing him underneath as well as over the top. They look to the deep side. Now looks to the short side. Harrell throwing. Pass is caught down to the two yard line by Crabtree. That's deja vu of the Texas game. Nine receptions, 63 yards for Crabtree. Tech looking for the lead and they have tied the ball game. Baron Batch with a rushing touchdown is sixth of the year. Eight extra points in that ball game. The chance to give Texas Tech the lead, and he does. Winning play every time. Pick up of 11 on that last play. First and 10. Griffin keeps it. He's got a lot of running room. Over the 40, over the 50, inside the 40 yard line. And a penalty fly comes flying in. And wagon last week. Oh, goodness. Here's Griffin. He's got his man. Another first down. Baylor inside the 40. It's Justin Akers, the junior from Deer Park, Texas. Second down and nine. Empty backfield for Griffin. Three step drop. Looking to tuck it. And he does. The pump fake as he's shoved out of bounds at the 33 yard line. First and 10 from the 27 yard line. The running game, Jay Finley blasting over the left side. He gets another first down. A yeah, very good runner with the football. Three-man rush on third and six. They're going to try the little reverse with Wright. Shaking and bacon. Now he throws it into the end zone. It's going to be way out of the end zone. He didn't have a whole lot of running room. to 29. And it is no good. They've missed an extra point, and now they 14-13. 134 left to play in the opening half, second and eight. Harold, look out from behind, has it stripped away, and that's a fumble, I think. The official is not showing it right now. Leon Freeman got a piece of it, and that's going to be Baylor's football. 20 seconds left to play in the half. Griffin looks. Is hit, spins away, still on his feet. Now he's got some room. Inside the five, looks for the goal line, fumbles the football! Texas Tech doesn't get it, they throw it out of bounds. And it's going to be a, a touchback, I think. Yeah, it's going to be a touchback. Great job, though, by Texas Tech, just trying to swat the ball, but watch Griffin's knee. Was he down? And down, which he does extend it and fumble it, but right 
There, yeah, he has possession, right. the knee's on the ground, the ball should be. After further review, the quarterback was down inside the one. It'll be Baylor's ball. Please put 10 seconds on the game clock. I think he meant not add 10 seconds, yeah. but put, you know. Put it up to 10 seconds. Still have one timeout left. Griffin throws it in the end zone. Touchdown, Baylor! Ernest Smith, they thought he was going to run it. Smith was wide open. Clint. Just one second left in the opening half. Griffin left alone. He's still on his feet. Throws up this prayer, and it's going to be caught. The two-point conversion is good to Kendall Wright. That ball floated in the air. Texas Tech did not do a good job of just knocking it down. Back at that high potent offense back on the field. Here comes the blitz. They just hand it off. They beat it with a run. First down and then some. It is Finley inside the 30. Foot race down to the 12-yard line. They got it. They've been sort of quiet for a Red Raider crowd. Here's Griffin again. Oh, my. Running room. Inside the five. Oh, takes a shot at the one-yard line. The hit was by Darcel McArdle. line. Texas Tech, Jacoby Jones, Baylor, Jacoby Jones. Wow. You take the second half kickoff. Running back just trams it up inside. He's missed one, but not this one. And it's downfield in this system. Now a first down and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Here, a little play action. Look out. Backside. He's hit and fumbled. Picked up. And they actually are going to pick up a yard on the play. Antonio Johnson is the one who lowered the Texas Tech. Baylor showing blitz, and here they come again. Harrell into the flat. Hawk inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. Todd Walker. They have to go elsewhere if they want to move this football. This time Baylor rushes score. Harrell's got some time. Throws it underneath the coverage. Batch makes the reception. Gets close to the 35-yard line. Good. They yeah. looked incredibly sharp actually today. On first and ten, Harrell's got some time. To Morris. He tiptoes his way to the 25-yard line. And his defense is executing it very, very well. They're doing a nice job just, just flat out tackling. Here's Harrell. Pass caught inside the 15 to the 14-yard line. That'll be a first down for the Harrell looking left, looking for something in the middle. He's got it. They're going to say it's short hopped it. Officials haven't made a motion yet, but it'll be completed the five yard line by Edward Brittimage redirecting receivers and don't let him run out of boys. There's Shannon Woods high up over the top. Touchdown, Texas Tech. <laughs> Joe Pavelic did his job. Sometimes you need the running game to close it out. Well, as the sun sets, it's getting a little colder. Everything becomes important. Including extra points, and Matt Williams is able to drill it through. Out in space as well. Griffin has some time, and he breaks away from the pack. Gets one huge block. Got the first down. Shaken as he runs outside the 50. And the big block, I think, was from Kendall Wright, and we've got to the 50. Ray Sims has come on to the near side now. Empty backfield. Griffin throws. Pass is caught. Kendall Wright swarmed over at the line of scrimmage. May got a yard. Wide receivers to the left on third and six. Baylor rushes only three. Drop eight in coverage. And Texas Tech beats it for another first down. Detron Lewis over the 40. They get a new set of downs with four seconds left in the quarter. Final play of the third. Harrell to his safety valve batch. And he gets down to the 35-yard line to pick that up and run with it. Smart hit this play. Time. No harm, no foul. And Texas Tech has to find a way to get this ball in the end zone. From the 25-yard line, Harold goes to work. Sidestepping defenders is Lewis. Gets to the 20-yard line. Pick up. Try to get Graham Harold out of that rhythm. 
Shannon Woods straight ahead. He's got the first down down to the 10 yard line. Later. First and 10 from the 11. So Texas Tech could get a first down. Three man rush. Harrell has the time. Throws. Caught. Down to the five yard line. Lewis again. Less first and goal. And again, we hear whistles blowing. I think they're going to replay it. Wow. This play appeared to get off clean before they were paged. There was a little downtime between the paging that occurs from the replay booth upstairs down to the situation. Tell both coaches, get your box After to further be quiet. review, ruling, touchdown. That's what we thought. My court. That was interesting. And, and nobody went and talked to him. That's what was amazing. He just kept walking out of the field. Usually an official will grab and say, Coach, you got to stop it. Sims goes to the far side. Griffin under center. The drop, the pass, tipped up in the air. Intercepted Texas Tech at the 40 yard line. It's Brian Duncan again. Something you don't see, Graham Harrell under center. The short pass, first down, inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line, down to the 21-yard line. Shannon Wood, team for the Red Raiders. Harrell wanted to go right. He's got all day, no pressure. Finally throws it, complete, inside the 15. Inside the five, down to the four-yard line is Lyle Leon, the sophomore out of Abilene, Texas. He was one of the stop down and four. For the touchdown, Harrell has time again, throws deep in the corner, looking for the signal, touchdown, Texas Tech, Detron Lewis. in the corner of the end zone. And the extra point is good. 21 unanswered points by Texas Tech. They lead it 35 to five minutes to play in the ball game. Griffin fakes the run. Now he's in trouble. Texas Tech trying to get him from behind and they finally catch him. Brandon Williams trips him up. He's going to run it. Here comes the chase. Throws pass caught at the 50 yard line by Geddes. And it's going to be well Walter short Griffin. of the first. Probably have it in his hands at the beginning and end up with it as well. He is going to be dropped back at the 45 yard line. Texas Tech takes over. McKinner Dixon with a sack. works better when the field is spread out like this. At times it has worked good and at times it simply hasn't. We're showing blitz and here they come. Woods beats it with a run up the middle down to the 11-yard line. Two there to doing something that not many Texas Tech teams have done. Shannon Woods gets down to the five-yard line with 27 seconds to play in the ball game. Joe Pavelic, seven tackles on the evening. And I guess we've answered the question, but it took him about three quarters to wake up. Will yeah. Texas Tech have a little hangover from Oklahoma? I think you're right. They did have a little hangover, but they responded well in adversity. And I think that's where the rubber meets the road is, is when there's a little adversity. How do you respond then? Texas Tech responded very well in the second half. Well, Ruffin McNeil going to congratulate one of his good friends, Brian Norwood, in the middle of the field. And Mike Leach also heading to the middle of the field to talk to his former running backs coach. Art Bryles, but Texas Tech wins it 35-28-21.